What is up, beautiful souls of planet Earth? So today we're gonna do a Pokemon Unite tier list. Now we're only gonna be focusing on the attacker role. Um, so if you're here for defenders and you're here for, you know, all rounders, we'll talk about those a little bit later, but right now we're just gonna focus on the attack role. All right, so, you know, who am I to put these Pokemon in certain roles? You know, I'm a pretty high masters player, so I feel like I got a pretty decent you know, overall understanding of where each Pokemon kind of should be. So we got our God tier. These are the Pokemon that are absolutely impactful, best Pokemon in the game. Pick them 100% of the time. We got A tier, which is going to be your Pokemon that are just as good. However, they're not, you know, Raymond Supreme in the, uh, you know, in the map, right? They're, they're going to be good. They're going to make a big impact, but they're just... They're just slightly not as good as the God tier. Balanced Pokemon are those ones that you can come in, you can be good with them, you can be bad with them, and they're gonna make still, you know, they're gonna make a good impact. Dookie Pokemon are Pokemon that we just don't use, okay? They're stinky. Pew pew! And just don't use tier, okay? Just Pokemon that, like, if you see them, yeah, they might look cute, play them in normals, but if you're gonna bring them in a ranked, just, you know, just leave them in ranked. Just just leave them away, okay? Just, just forget about them when we're playing. So, we're gonna stop, we're gonna start this off, stop this our, off, we're going to start this off with the one and only, the fan favorite of Generation 8, Cinderace. Now, Cinderace, this is going to be one that I'm going to get a lot of people probably upset with, but it is what it is. I think that Cinderace is just balanced, okay? He's good, but he's not the best. Right now in this tier list, you know, in the attackers, we have some standout ones that are just notches above him. He's still good, though. Like, if you can play him... And you land your auto attacks and pyro ball and you can land your unite move you're gonna make a huge impact on the game great 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 pokemon for secure like securing objectives great pokemon for just laying out crazy crit you know pyro ball is one of the best critting um abilities in the game but i think overall i think he just i think he's just lacking um camerot just don't even use okay i know yes he's good in certain bat like matchups yes certain combos blah 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 listen he's pretty bad okay we're just not gonna use him he's not he's not great all right he's just not great up next is nine tails nine tails it was pretty balanced she can lay out a ton of damage um you know avalanche blizzard is going to be a really great combo pinning people up against walls you know, it is it is a great Pokemon, all right? She has one of the greatest passives. Can pick out people that are hiding in bushes. Just her passive will still hit and lock on to those people that are hiding in bushes. She's gonna she's gonna get them, all right? So, great pickup, super easy to learn. Um, doesn't have any mobility, so that kind of that can kind of you know hinder you a little bit. But I think that in laning phase, I think she's 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 really good. Uh, Venusaur is god tier right now, right? Like, I mean, no one's gonna, no one's gonna ignore the fact that Petal Dance and Giga Drain is just absolutely broken. You know, Seed Bomb, throwing that down on an objective on a Rayquaza, you're gonna just absolutely obliterate those that are trying to secure stuff. Greninja with, wa like, Water Shuriken, he's A for awesome, right? He's good, but I feel like if you don't know how to play him, or you don't know how to use his kit to full potential, I don't think you're gonna be a god tier player. I think there is god tier player Greninja's, and I've seen some, but I think overall, if you have a very basic understanding of how Greninja works, I think he's an A tier Pokemon. You know, a lot of people are going to pick him up, and I think that's kind of what brings his win, like his win rate, down just a little bit because a lot of people do play him because he's he's it's Greninja, one of the greatest starters, one of the greatest Pokemon to grace our planet. Up next to Charizard, Charizard is, mm, Charizard. I I'm not going to put him in god tier. Okay, I'm not going to put him in god tier. I know. I know, I know he is devastating, all right? When you get a good Charizard coming in and just, you know, disrupting your whole entire team, yes, he's a god-tier Pokemon. He's sort of the same thing as Greninja. A lot of people play him. He's very easy to play, makes a great impact on the game, but I don't think that he's a god-tier Pokemon. Um, I think he's just overshined right now by some others. Um, his Unite move is absolutely disgusting, but I think where he's lacking is just the... the it, he takes a while to get online. Once he's online, it's really good. But as we all know in Pokemon Unite, if you're losing, a lot of people surrender. Okay? Way too early. Take one thing from this video. Never surrender before Rayquaza is up. Okay? That's all I have to say. Pikachu. 
I want to put in God tier. Okay, I want to put Pikachu in God tier. Pikachu is the Pokemon that I have climbed to high masters with. I have a 70% win rate on her. I am absolutely loving Pikachu builds. You know, Volt Tackle, Electro Ball. Going to devastate Pokemon. Okay, it's going to devastate people. However, I don't think that she's going to be a god tier just based off the fact that she does not have any mobility, any escape. Yes, you can go Thunderbolt and Thunder and you're going to be able to keep people at bay, but I just don't think that it's a god tier Pokemon. It hurts me to say, but I do think it's an awesome A tier Pokemon. I think that an A tier Pokemon, its Volt Tackle is really good. It's great for locking down Pokemon like Zora Arc or locking down your um, Gengars, you know, it's it's good at locking Pokemon down. I think it's um, execute with the Electro Ball. Uh, if you don't know, Pikachu's Electro Ball does more damage, in, like depending on how much health the enemy is missing. So it's a great, great, great finisher. Gardevoir, I think is I, I think is balanced. Um, Gardevoir is really strong. I don't think that it is the most powerful Pokemon. It's very easy to mess up on, especially if you miss your Psy Shock. You're going to mess up on it every so often. If you land it, absolutely going to destroy people. But I don't think that it's an A-tier Pokemon. If you mess it up, you kind of limit yourself and you kind of put yourself in harm's way. Sylveon is dookie. Okay, Sylveon is dookie. I love Sylveon. Great ev like evolution. I think it's a dookie Pokemon. Its whole kit is made for you to run at stuff. You're not going to want to run at a T-Tar. You're not going to want to run at a Scizor. You're not going to want to run at an Azumarill. You know, you're going to want to run away. You're not going to want to run towards a Mr. Mime. So I think even though it has that little health, you know, with Lovely Kiss, or Draining Kiss, sorry, not Lovely Kiss, Draining Kiss, yes, it's going to be a great, you know, great Pokemon, but I think it's a pretty dookie Pokemon. I also put Decidueye in dookie, okay? Dookie, dookie, dookie. Great Pokemon, great for securing objectives, amazing for long range, but you know, you have the scissors and stuff like that. It's going to come in and it's going to pound you. You're going to just, it's not going to be a good time. Uh, uh, Duraludon, same sort of thing as, you know, um, Decidueye. Espeon, I think is balanced. If you land that stun, absolutely, absolutely going to destroy someone. Delphox is, uh, I would say A tier. I think Delphox is an A tier Pokemon for sure. Can come in devastating Pokemon. Great Unite move. Probably one of the best. One of the best for securing objectives. A great, great Pokemon. Lots of mobility. Love it. Glaceon, S tier. Glaceon is God tier. Just Glaceon just shreds, okay? Shreds objectives. Shreds objectives. Shreds objectives. Mew, even with the even with the nerf, is still an S tier Pokemon. Absolutely an S tier Pokemon. Oh my gosh. They need to nerf it even more. But this is my tier list for the attackers. Um, I hope some of you agree with me. Um, I can do a more in-depth, you know, kind of look at each Pokemon to kind of give people a little bit of a better understanding, help them to, you know, really get the mechanics down of a Pokemon that they really are, like, interested in. But for me right now, God tier Pokemon, your Venusaur, your Glaceon, your Mew, your A tier Pokemon are Greninja, Charizard, Pikachu, and Delphox. Your balanced Pokemon are your Cinderace, your Ninetales, your Gardevoir, and your Espeon. Your Dookie Pokemon here are Sylveon, Decidueye, Duraludon, and you just don't use his Camerot, okay? It is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!